That's 10 cars in each. And they will line up like this. On the pole out of Waterdown, the Tammy 10 Media, Sterling Crane Zero C is Cole McDonald. And lining up on his outside out of St. Cat. That very talented field as well. Well, and I would suggest, Greg, this is the the most talent we've had in the field all season long. We got the Brown brothers, we got Todd Hoddick, we got Mikey Kretschka, Corey Turner, Ryan Turner, Steve Lyons, Tyler Hendricks, Chris Steele. I mean, the gang is all here. If there's a night where Dylan Westbrook could be beat, I would venture to say this could be the night. See if it can get done. Dylan will line up in the fourth spot in heat race number two. Ready to go, the first of two qualifying heats with Cole McDonald, Chris Steele bringing us to the green flag. On the hammer and side by side in the corner number one is Cole McDonald and Chris Steele. Side by side behind them between Jack and Jake Brown make that and Tyler Hendricks. Brown into the third position. Brown with a great line around the middle of the racetrack, dives to the bottom of Cole McDonald. He'll look for that second position going into turn number one. Slide up in front of the zero machine and secure P2. Cole McDonald not going to give up though. He drives to the inside through three and four. That's going to cost him though. He slides up and that allows Tyler Hendricks to drive up the inside. And yeah, Hendricks will slide by into the third position. Nice job by the Hendricks race team to get that car back together after a hard crash on the backstretch in last week's feature event. He's got that X1 race car chassis hooked up and into the third position here in heat race one. Ryan Turner looking good in that Kingman number 91 as well. As he gets around Cole McDonald, problems were done in the 44. Oh, and the Dunn. I think he knew he was off the pace and the car wasn't running right, but he got off the racetrack just a little bit too quickly. He didn't hit the hay bales all that hard, but boy, did they toss the car up on its lid. And so it's been a solid start for Ryan Turner in that Kingpin's farm, number 91. And good to see Mac the man back here tonight after the vicious crash that he took at O'Nathan Ackland Racing. Spent a, a lot of time last Friday night getting the car torn apart, and most of it was junk. They turned around, their great sprint car team went and won it South Buxton the next night, but I'm sure the rest of the week. Uh, they didn't have much time to celebrate that win with the uh, Action Sprint Tour. And uh, good to see Mac back, though, here tonight in the 17X. Yeah, really good. And like, like you said, you know, I talked to Mac in the, in the pits, and they changed everything on that race car except the driver. And you can expect some big things. In fact, I've picked Mac in my pool to win this evening, Greg. Flag is out. Chris Steele is your leader, but Jake Brown is right there within striking distance as they go down the back stretch. Top four open up a little bit on the zero C at McDonald. They work out of turn number four down the front straightaway. And some quick lap times coming out. 13.421 for Chris Steele. Now the track record's down right around 13 even, but uh, 13.421 easily some of the fastest times we've seen this season and they're battling all through the field unofficially and I don't with no disrespect that might have been the first pass Jamie Turner has made this year I believe he drove to the inside of Todd Hoddick and went around him and that's the kind of season he's had yeah exactly no disrespect it just has not been the season that Jamie Turner has wanted good to see him back uh, up to full song here tonight white flag is out for Chris Steele one more time around he's got a healthy advantage just has to hang on to it keep it on the smooth part of the racetrack. They'll work through three and four one final time. The real deal, Chris Steele going to take the heat win. Brown in second, Hendricks third, Turner fourth, Ryan Turner that is, McDonald, Slider, Gartley, Jamie Turner, and Todd Hoddick is the rundown. So, so Jason Hill from the Burger Barn, I said that you'd, you'd gotten your food and you were already halfway through it. He says, I can hear him chewing between his commentating. <laughs> He's probably not joking either. No, and this is how generous Jason is. He's given 500 bucks extra to each class to win tonight. That's a nice little uh, bump up for everyone here tonight. So I was pretty happy with the you're at, I know, exactly. Like 500 bucks is great. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm not sure what uh, you guys mentioned about Jay already, but when he came up to give me that $2,000, the $500 for the top spot in each division, 
He also invited Carver the 10, entire... downtown, Mitch Brown, and starting to his outside in the sixth spot out of Fenwick, Ontario. The Gibbons contracting upper Canada consultants, 14 H, the Red Rocket, Jim Hoopinen. Starting seventh at a Caster Center, the KT Tobacco 10 line for ID 97 is Corey Turner. From Charing Cross, it's Scott Burke in the 9B, the ERW contracting ride. And the ninth spot out of Hamilton, the Case IH Rochester Nighthawk Zero of Mikey Crutchka and Steve Lines out of Carlisle on the Nitro 54 MMBO Direct Marketing. Number nine will go off from the 10th spot. Eight laps the distance in our second and final qualifying heat with two kids, ice and water, four back, sprint cars. Field charges through turns one and two. Mike Thorne, man, oh man, got a great drive on the outside. That car rocked quite a bit, but he kept his foot in it and comes out looking like a champ. Dylan Westbrook really got sideways off of corner number four as he holds down the third spot and decides to go up top. Now he looks to the outside of Jim Porter into corner three. Yeah, that car looks to be a little bit of a handful. <laughs> wow, he just turned it hard to the bottom of the racetrack. Goes around Porter, but Porter would not be pushed up the track. Westbrook trying to assert himself. And remember, we talked about the quality of the field here tonight, Greg, the quality of the drivers. I just think Dylan Westbrook's gonna face as tough a challenge tonight as he has all year, as we almost had a big situation with Porter and Hooping it. Mac the man will slide by Jim Porter and grab the fourth position. He's got his sights set on third place. Jim Hooping it. he'll look to the inside of him off of corner number four. Mitch Brown and Mikey Crutcher closing in on Porter. Brown actually closed in a little bit too quick. He'll head to the high side, and Mikey Krutschka wisely rolls out of the throttle to avoid contact. And Dylan Westbrook going through one and two, closing the gap on Mike Thorne, drives it to the inside. Wow, he just drives by him like he's standing still. Dylan Westbrook to the point. He'll come across the lines. It's two to go. This is Kyle McKenzie. Thorne back to second, has a sizable gap over Hoopin and in third. And we got a battle, Mitch Brown to the inside of Mikey Krutschka. So Krutschka must have got around Brown while I was watching that battle for the lead. He'll go around the outside once again down into three. One lap left for D-Dubs, Dylan Westbrook as he works around the lap car of Scott Burke. Mikey Thorne right now in second. Jim Hoopin and trying to hold on to third, but Mac Demand is right there. And Mac Demand doesn't know the meaning of lift. Dylan Westbrook rolls through and wins the heat. Thorne second, Hoopin in third. Demand fourth, Turner fifth, Krutschka sixth, Mitch Brown comes home seventh. Porter gonna bring it on home eighth, Steve Lyons ninth, and rounding out the field is Scott Burke. Good qualifying heat and another win for Dylan Westbrook in the 47X. And I'll tell you what, another solid field here tonight. 20 cars and 20 cars strong, like you said, Adam. Some very uh, big names here tonight that uh, could give Dylan Westbrook a running. As we've got a lot of heavy hitters here, some hungry drivers, and they're going to bring it down the back stretch. The Strickland GMC pace truck pulls off down the back chute. Mike Thorne, Tyler Hendricks, ready to bring us to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation. Around the outside goes Tyler Hendricks to the point. Mike Thorne back in the second spot. As they come off with three and four, Tyler Hendricks will lead lap number one. Tyler Hendricks out in front with a great start. How about Ryan Turner in the 91 machine? He'll take over second for Mike Thorne with a slide job. Thorne right back to the bottom. Yeah, he shoots right back by in that H1 construction burger bar in 55. And here comes two-time champ Jim Hoopinen around the outside. Gets by both. He's in second. Jim Hoopin with a power move to the outside. Taylor Hen Tyler Hendricks rather, with nearly a full straightaway lead as Dylan Westbrook contending with Ryan Turner for the fourth position. Upside down one week ago was the 38 of Tyler Hendricks. He's at the top of the scoreboard right now as Tyler Hendricks leads over Jim Hoopin and Dylan Westbrook. I can't believe the move Ryan Turner just made to the inside of Mike Thorne. There was not room to do it. He did it. Dylan Westbrook went around both of them on the outside and also a great battle with Mac to man Corey Turner in the 97 and the 80 of Chris Steele. Good point out for those watching at home. The 38 of Tyler Hendricks is the leader. Is transponder not picking up on the scoreboard here at the track or on our ticker on the screen? But he definitely is leading the way and he's got traffic up ahead. 
not far ahead of him. In fact, is heavy traffic. Jim Hoopin in about half a straightaway behind. So Tyler Hendricks going to have to be assertive and make these moves quickly if he wants to stay out in front of Hoopin and Dylan Westbrook. Here comes Westbrook down to the inside of Jim Hoopin and off a corner four, but Hoopin keeps the spot. Meanwhile, the leader, Tyler Hendricks, begins to carve through some of this lap traffic, works to the outside of Jim Porter. Lap traffic went well for him just then. He got the advantage. Ryan Turner up off the outside of the racetrack. Corey Turner and Mac Demand get by. We've got one up off the outside of the track in three and four. He's able to gather it back in and get back onto the racing surface. Jim Hoopin and also almost ate the corner four wall and somehow saved it. That was Mac Demand troubles again for the 17X. He'll park it down on the inside. Oh, we got one upside down on the back stretch. Scott Burke. Loses the rear end of the 9B, so Scott Burke in the 9B comes to a rest at a hard crash down the back stretch for the driver of Charing Cross. And the safety crew there on the scene. And yes, my son that's sitting next to me here says, that's why you stay back from the fence. I've taught you well, son. You need to speak with your grandfather later. At the bit to get this done. How big are the butterflies in Tyler Hendricks' stomach right now as he has 12 laps from what could be the first win of his career? Plenty of wins on asphalt and an asphalt modified. Spent time as an asphalt late model driver and now here in a sprint car looking for his first career win. He elites them down the front stretch with 12 to go. Good restart for Tyler Hendricks. He got up there, ran the line. He wanted to run, opened a bit of a gap on Hoopin. And wow, very nearly contact between Jake Brown and the 55 of Mike Thorne over in turn three and four. Mikey Krutzka driving the familiar Oshwikin Speedway Zero into the top five. Kyle McKenzie crosses them up for halfway home in this one. 10 complete, 10 to go with your leaders. Right now, Tyler Hendricks, Jim Hoopin in second. Third is Corey Turner, fourth is Chris Steele and the caution flag now will fly. Jake Brown off the end of turns three and four in that 110 machine. It's up into the hay bale there. Yeah, I thought he was gonna gather that in actually. You know, the way that you look at the attitude of the car when it goes off the racetrack. But again, it falls away and there's so much loose dirt up there, it's tough to get it gathered in. Well, guys, Jake Brown hard into the outside fence here in turn number four. He's up over these big hay bales. They may need the hook to lift them up over the edge. About two weeks we'll be ready for them. We have sold a few of them, and if they uh, contact us through the website or on Facebook, we'll get them hooked up. There you go. So we'll have to get them back on the scene to experience that. Great to have new fans in the grandstands and love it even more when they send us messages on Facebook and interact with us. One of the enjoyable parts of the job, Greg. See a lot of it, good to hear. People watching from Georgia, South Dakota here tonight. Welcome aboard our live stream as we get back to the green flag. 10 laps left to go here in our 360 Sprint Car A main event. In the battle up front, the leader of the 38 of Tyler Hendricks and the 14H is Jim Hoopinen. Mikey Krutzka had a big run on Chris Steele. Steele kind of came up to that outside lane, so Krutzka had to change directions, lost a lot of his momentum. One and two goes Tyler Hendricks. And you know what? I really thought Jim Hoopinen was going to make a charge for the lead here and maybe take it away. But Tyler Hendricks holding tough, looking confident. He'll lead lap 12. Whoa, Mikey Crutch goes around and forth. Gets collected by Ryan Turner. Both of them sliding backwards a little bit on the racetrack. That was as innocent a sprint car spin as you can suffer. Crutch. Oh. I was watching Mikey at the time because he was losing the handle a little bit on that zero machine. And he was up on the cushion. It looked like he tried to come down the racetrack, kind of diamond off the corner, and just the back end came out from under him. Clinton Jeffries on the scene. Of Tyler Hendricks of the last year in that 38 machine as we get a look at the front end of Ryan Turner's car. Yeah, that's definitely banged up. And one thing that is probably obvious, but I'll say it anyhow, you can't cautiously drive a sprint car. 
you can't be. There are certain race cars you can kind of annoys me, Greg. But 17th place is where Dylan Westbrook is right now. Let's see where he finishes when the checkered flag flies, which is scheduled to happen eight laps from now. Doug Leonard just checked in. Hi, Doug. Get to work. <laughs> I'm assuming the big blocks are done if Doug is logging on. Eight laps left to go. Tyler Hendricks, Jim Hoopin, and Corey Turner, your top three. Single file pass the restart cone, and Hendricks fires it down into corner one. And just like he has, he takes that wide arc into one, gets a great shot down the back straightaway. Jim Hoopin a little bit closer than he has been, but it's still a good six car lengths at the line. Uh, Hoopin tried the same thing again. Went down low in one, and it just does not work for him. Tyler Hendricks smooth and steady around the outside. This time by, it's going to be 14 complete and six to go. Oh, problems with Cole McDonald in the zero C machine as he has come up slow on the outside of turns three and four. Everybody able to get by, I believe, McDonald. Right rear is, the tire is up, but the right rear of the car is sagging down. It's possibly some suspension issues there, as we now have five laps left to go for Tyler Hendricks. Wow, Jim Hoopman slides up the racetrack out of turn number two, really has to roll out of the throttle to avoid hitting the wall. Corey Turner gonna pull a slide jump. Jim Hoopman has to wonder if he's got slide job written on the back of his wing tonight. <laughs> Here it goes again. Turner looks down to the inside of Hoopinen. Gets a good run into corner number three. Will slide down up in front. Here comes Hoopinen back down the hill. That was the best slide job Corey Turner has executed this year, and he has executed a lot of them. Here they go again down the hill in corner two. Turner back to second. Now Hoopinen's going to return the favor. Now this time Turner able to keep it to the outside with two laps to go. A for effort for Hoopinen, but nice job by Corey Turner to run that line on the high side. Let's see if we can close in on Tyler Hendricks. One lap left to go. The white flag comes out from Kyle McKenzie, and he tags the wall in four. Here comes Corey Turner to the inside, and he goes to the top spot. But here comes Hendricks back. Unbelievable. One final half lap. Corey Turner with the advantage. Tyler Hendricks going to drive to the inside, but no. Corey Turner takes the win. Hendricks comes on second, hooping and steal, and then rounding out the top five, it's Mitch Brown. Wow, what a finish in that one. Tyler Hendricks, a lap away from his first career win, gets into the fourth corner wall. Turner is the bridesmaid no more in 2018. He will be your winner for the Cool Kids Ice and Water Core Pack Sprint Car. Still two feature events to come. We've got the Thunderstocks and the crate sprints. Let's send it down to Lucas Oil Products Victory Lane. Corey makes his way around the front of the 97. Corey, you've been bridesmaid a lot tonight. You finally got it done. Congrats. Yeah, you can only run on the podium so many times before you get one. You just gotta, you just gotta stay there and keep working on it. And, and tonight, I, I don't know what happened to the 38 there. It's almost like he ran out of fuel. He just bobbled off a of four, and uh, we were lucky to get by him and see the checkers next lap. So we're very privileged to be uh, have the partners we have, the crew we have. A lot of them aren't here tonight. Um, big thanks to Alex, uh, Pam, Miles for, for giving me top-notch equipment. And, uh, we're going to have a few beers tonight. Let's talk about the aggressiveness in this division. Uh, the last few weeks, you've been throwing massive sliders at these uh, leaders trying to grab one. Tonight, you got it done. Yeah, the only problem with the slider is, you know, guys can guys can cross you over uh, real easily because it just kills all your momentum. But but uh, when everybody's up on the cushion, it's the only way to get by guys. You know, there's not much of a middle or a bottom, and it makes for great racing. Congrats, Corey. He gets it done here tonight. We'll get over here and talk to Tyler Hendricks. How about him for the driver of the 38? You almost got one done tonight, Tyler. Solid run for you. He thought you bobbled. We thought you ran out of gas. Someone thought you hit the wall. What happened? I definitely uh, jumped the cushion a bit. There was some rough stuff up in four, and I got over it, and the wheel just jerked out of my hand. And I thought I was going to eat the wall. I got it stopped in time to get on it, but Corey was able to get by. Obviously a massive disappointment being that close, but can you take a bit of satisfaction out of tonight that you were in this one the whole race? Oh, yeah, especially after flipping it last week, putting it back together, and uh, it was a rocket tonight. i got to thank Jason Barney from 87 Speed. He's been awesome, and uh, I recommend him to anybody. Solid recovery for sure for Tyler Hendricks here in the 38. Ladies and gentlemen, good run for him. We'll get over here and talk to the Red Rocket, Jim Hoopinen. 
Jim, solid re uh, rebound for you after a couple of tough weeks. Let's talk about uh, your drive tonight. You were also in this battle. Yeah, for sure it was a good night, you know, running top three with these guys. Uh, you know, we actually uh, just finished building this car last night. Uh, last week we had a little uh, damage, and uh, we actually bro blew up a motor last week. So we uh, got to give it up to uh, Al and Andy at New Generation. They uh, worked their butts off all week, and we built this motor. We took it off the dyno last night and put it in a car. And, uh, you know, my brother and uh, crew chief Andrew and Jimmy, um, especially my wife, uh, you know, it's first uh, time up here uh, being married. So... Uh, Third place, it's a win for us tonight. You know, we're running against big money, and, uh, you know, we're just a little team here out of our garage. Congrats. How about a hand for your top three, ladies and gentlemen? Corey Turner, Tyler Hendricks, and Jim Hoopin in here, and our cool kids, Core Pack 360 Sprints. That'll wrap up Lucas Oil Victory Lane. We're ready to go with the Thunderstocks.